Hey everybody, Caleb with SVSI here. I want to take just a minute to talk about a unique feature set on our devices that's not found with anyone else. It's called Local Play and Host Play. Basically, you have the ability to store on select devices uh, eight playlists of images, each containing up to 64 images. Now the difference between Host Play and Local Play is where those images are stored. If the images are stored on an encoder, it's called Host Play. If the images are located on the decoder, they're called local play. The idea behind this is that you'll never have to look at a black screen with SVSI. If the network ever goes down or something happens to the transmission that's outside of your control, instead of looking at a black screen, you'll look at a local play or a host play image. Let's talk just a second on how to upload images for a local play playlist. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up NetLight. And we have our two devices here. So again, local play is on the decoder, host play is on the encoder. So let's go to our decoder here and double click on it. To modify the local play images, we need to go to the web page for that particular device. We can do this by clicking on the IP address at the bottom left of the general settings tab. So we click on that and that automatically opens up our web browser and the login page for that particular decoder. The default username and password for the decoder or an encoder is admin for the username in lowercase, and then again in lowercase, password for the password. We provide our credentials and then we're into the advanced settings section for our decoder. Across the top here you'll notice an option called local play. We give that a click and then we're taken to the section where we can modify the local play images on that particular device. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get some new images up there. We're going to click on, in the image database window, we're going to click on choose files. That'll bring me up to a standard navigation window where I'm going to select just a couple of images at random. Then I'm going to click upload and that image will be uploaded to my device. Now depending on the format that you have in that image, we will automatically convert and scale that image appropriately in order to make it compatible with our device. So let me just grab a few more here. So I've selected seven files and I'm going to choose upload. And these are all uploading and then finally converting. Once those files are converted, I'll show you how to choose those images within the playlist. Alright, so our images are done converting and now I want to add them to this playlist. So I go over to the left hand menu and I'm going to choose these drop down menus to select the image that I'd like to be a part of this playlist. Just doing it all one by one. Okay, then I can choose the time interval in between these images. Now by default it's 0.1 second, which is pretty fast, so let's change all of these to 2 seconds. I just select it, enter in 2. Okay, then I'm going to save this as SVSI Local Play. Now to initiate Local Play, I can do one of two things. I could unplug my encoder and it will automatically revert to Local Play, or to put it in for testing purposes, I can go back to settings. And then down here where it says live dash local, I select that drop down menu and choose the playlist I want to put it in. So I'll select SVSI local play and then save. That issues the command to that particular decoder to then start the local play playlist. Now the process for this is exactly the same for host play on an encoder. For more information or for additional technical details, please contact our office at 256 461-7143 and ask for technical support.